I'm about to open the best modern Pokemon box. But what is that? I've looked through my personal collection and picked out some of the best candidates. First up, we have a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. Up against the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. And this is actually the Pokemon Center exclusive ETV. And then, last but definitely not least, we have a Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Box. Now, that one's just a joke. Obviously, I don't believe this is the best ETV of the modern era. But it's just here to fluff the video out and make it longer. So here we go. Here are the main two contenders. Now, I do have some Pokemon Center exclusive Celebration ETVs. But I'm going to keep them sealed. I think they're more valuable sealed. The Celebration set, which is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon special set, and particularly the ETV, took the hobby by storm. Everyone and their mums, dads, dog were collecting this set. And rightly so. It has a Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur all in it, and reprints at that from the original base set. However, in my opinion, this box right here is probably one that's best kept sealed, and I'll tell you why. Visually, it looks very good. You've got 25 here, so you've got a date on the box that signifies a certain moment in time. And historically, if you look back at the 20th anniversary, a lot of those boxes, collection boxes, ETVs, even Japanese boxes like CP6, are just worth so much money right now. Because over time, the value increased. And yes, although prices have dropped a little bit, millions of people are still collecting Pokemon cards. So the cards inside here are just so common and so easily found. Whereas Evolving Skies, while it was again printed heavily, it's so much harder to pull the rarer cards in this set. So the Special Art Umbreon, the Special Art Rayquaza and the VMAX variants. When you do get a big, big hit, you're more likely to have a better hit than in Celebrations. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let's test that today by opening both of them. All right, here we go. The seal has been broken for the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. A beautiful ETV, I must say. Very, very stylish. You get the Greninja Gold Star obviously inside, which is honestly one of my favorite cards from this modern era. Still yet to get a 10 at age grading. Let's see if this one does. We have 10 packs of celebrations and five packs from the Sword and Shield era. Let's quickly open the Sword and Shield era packs first. We have a Staraptor, rare as the first pack. Vivid Voltage up next. Let's see, anything good? A Drapion V, I'll take that. In Battle Styles, we have a Sandaconda rare. Hello. Chilling Rain, nothing. And Darkness of Blaze, we have Pink Urchin Hollow. Okay, so nothing crazy in those. Now let's turn our attention to Celebrations, which is the main thing you want when you open a Celebrations ETV. The set. <laughs> and here we go. We have Cosmog as the first card. Yveltal. We have a Zekrom and then a Mew as the final card in the first pack of Celebrations. Not too great. Pack number two. I will swap these cards around now. So there we go. The Zation V or the best card out of the Celebration set will be at the front. But we're looking for those classic collection cards. For those who don't know what they are, they are the reprints of the Celebration set. So the old Charizard, Venus of Blastoise could be in the third slot, which is the classic collection slot. And in this occasion, we have pulled a Rocket Zapdos. And there we go, guys. Proof is in the pudding of what I'm talking about. Now, I will say, for Celebrations, it's one of the most fun boxes to open or pack to open. Because look, even though the market is flooded with Celebrations cards, it still feels so good to be able to pull a Rocket Zapdos just like that, that easily. The back looks really clean as well. And honestly, guys, the ace labels for the Celebration cards are unreal. So hgraden.com, guys, if you want to get your cards sent. And there we go, Rocket Zapdos. Something to shout about early on. Can we do it again? We have a Mew here. We have a Palkia. Zekrom and a Lugia. So these cards are so common, guys. They're flying about everywhere. Don't pay more for them than you would pay for, you know, uncommons and commons from regular sets. They're so, so common, honestly. They're everywhere. Okay, we've got Solgaleo in the next pack. Dialga. Xerneas and a... Oh, here comes Team Rocket. There we go. Another classic collection card. Another reprint from the Team Rocket set. And it doesn't get old, guys. You can pull so many of these cards, but it still feels so, so good. And you know, the best modern set, guys, is definitely not... Oh, here we go. Surfing Pikachu in this next pack. The best box or the best modern box is not defined by its value necessarily. Obviously, it's a big factor, but it's also about how much you enjoy opening it. And Celebrations gets a lot of points for that. We've got Ho-Oh, Zekrom. Then we have a Kyogre. So I'm not going to lie, guys. Even though if Open Skies is a great set, sometimes you can get burnt by it and sometimes you can pull awful cards oh here we go we got a surfing pikachu v max so our surfing pikachu from a moment ago just evolved we then have a xerneas groudon and a reshiram keeping this moving we have a professor oak scribbling on the card naughty naughty we have dialga palkia back to back and a oh my goodness me ladies and gentlemen we've hit and pulled a massive massive card right here with the shining magic card that is actually unreal what a great pull right there. I'm gassed. And that's clean too. That is very clean. We've got some dust in the sleeve though. That's never a good sign. Oh no, hold on. It's something on the actual card, guys. See this right here? I've managed to get the majority off. You can still see a little white dot there, but hmm, that's not good. Maybe we should send this to H grade and see what that would actually, you know, affect it. Or how that would affect it, sorry. But look at that though. Beautiful shiny magic card. Such an iconic card in the history of Pokemon. And still to this day, it's a really great card to pull out of the reprint set. So far, this has actually been a fantastic Celebrations ETV. And it's not even going to stop there. We've got plenty more to pull. We've got a Mew card here. Dialga. Cosmoem and a Kyogre. Okay, it would be a bit obscene, wouldn't it, to pull another classic collection card straight after that shiny magic card. But as Justin Bieber once rightly said, guys, never say never. Here we go, the penultimate pack. Lugia, Ho-Oh, 
and Reshiram. It's all down to this last pack, guys. Can we make this ETV one of the best that I've opened? Zamazenta V right there. That's not a bad card to get. We got ho -Oh, Palkia. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got a Zekrom from the Classic Collection. The first ever full art, or one of the first ever full arts, reprinted as a 25th anniversary. I was going to say promo. It's not a promo. It's still got the original number on it, but you can see by the 25th anniversary sign there, it's a promo. Or part of the celebration set. So there we go, guys. Fantastic pulls right here from the 25th anniversary celebrations ETV. But now it's all about evolving skies. Let's go, baby. So because this is a Pokemon Center exclusive, you do get more packs inside. There they are in their glory. You get an Eevee pin as well some dice. I also forgot to announce the giveaway today, guys. It is going to be the Chilling Rain ETV that I had in my hand at the start of this video. We're not going to open this in today's video, but we are going to give it away to one of you guys out there. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Comment whatever you want. You can even comment whatever you want, if you want. Here we go, guys. 10 packs of Evolving Skies starting right now. And as I stated before while I was opening Celebrations, Evolving Skies can be a bit of a hard set to open. You can pull dud cards. You can get packs that are just awful to open, you know, but you can hit some massive, massive cards. And although you can hit some massive cards with the Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, etc., they are so oversaturated in the market, okay? Whereas Evolving Skies, okay, we got a Zygarde as the first card. Evolving Skies, if we hit that Rayquaza VMAX or that Umbreon VMAX special arm, especially graded in an Ace-10, you're looking at like 400, 500 pounds, which is just stunning. We've got Lombre, Lucky Ice Pop, Scrafty, Dwebble, Hippopotas, Zorua, Psyduck, Rufflet, Shiftry, and the final card is a Lilligant. It's not all about value. Again, enjoyment in opening the packs is really, really important as well. I know for a lot of people out there, when they're looking at value, they're not looking at how much money they can make or how much investment gains they can make, but they're looking at, is it worth their money? Is it worth their hard-earned money to be able to spend on this box, on this pack? And that's kind of why I do these videos at the same time as well, to show you guys the reality of opening certain boxes and certain packs, so you guys can judge if that's a box or a pack you want to open and spend your money on. We've got Teddy Ursa Reverse Holo right here, and then we have a S Beyond V right there. There are definitely worse sets to open than Evolving Skies. You still get all the evolution you still get all the awesome dragon Pokemon. It's not even like it's just the Umbreon or just the Rayquaza that you know makes Evolving Skies worth opening. It's far from it, in fact. But they are big pulls to the set. We've got an Amolga right here. We've got a Woobat right there. Gossifleur, Phoebus, Hippopotas, Shiftry, Reversal again, actually, for the second time today, and a Zygarde for the second time today. What's going on? Come on, man, let's get a special art. I feel like these pulls in the videos recently have been kind of stinky. We got a good set of pulls in the Celebrations ETV, though. We got that uh, shiny magic card, of course, which is fantastic to get. Let's get another sick card. We got Hippopotas here, Lillipup, Nuzleaf, Reverse Hollow, and a Pincer of the Rare. Next up, I'm gonna guess the Water Energy. Okay, Psychic, I was dead wrong. Tentacruel, Palpitoad, Herdia, Petalil, Pikachu, lovely, Pumkavu, Rufflet, Lotad, Reverse Hollow Ursaring, and a Appleton. So guys, so far, leave a comment down below. What's been your highlight or the best box in this video? Has it been the Evolving Skies ETV so far? Or was it the Celebrations ETV? I want to hear your opinions as well. I'll give my opinion in the verdict at the end as well. But I want to hear from you guys. We've got Pikachu for the second time, third time actually. Pumkaboo again. Rufflet. These packs just repeating. We've got a Lotad. Imolga. A Reverse Hollow Rubber Gloves. And a... Shopping out. Hip out on Braviary. We have a Lucky Ice Pop. I hate how the modern cards just stick together like that. Mareep, Drowsy, Feebas, Hitmonchan, Slackoth, Reverse Hollow Crustle, and a Drampa. Okay, the penultimate pack, I believe. <laughs> it's just like that. It's almost all gone, okay? The penultimate pack, number nine out of ten. Has it been ten packs already? What the hell? We have four cards from the back. We're going to give it the tap, you know, the patent pendant Randy tap. We have the Psychic Energy, the Copycat. The Rubber Gloves, Skip Loom, Cryogonal, Nicket, Dwebble, okay, Rufflet, Rug and Roller, Avalug, and A. Slacking Hollow, okay, getting warmer, getting warmer. Here it is, guys, the final pack of the ETV. The final pack of the video, potentially. Well, probably. And that's to get depressed and start opening, you know, panic opening more boxes, which I've known to do in the past. Okay, we've got four from the back. Give it a tap, and come on, this is what we need to even make it a fair fight against the Celebrations ETV. We have a Nuzleaf, Ice Q, Carvana, Dwebble, Mareep in a Jeep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Eevee, Reverse Holo, and A as a final card, Milotic Rare. So no Rayquaza, no Umbreon, Espeon V. That's not, that's not a good ETV, is it, guys? That, that's not a good, that's a really bad ETV. A handful of Hollows and uh, just a V. Wow. So I guess in this case, guys, I opened the best modern Pokemon box, and that was the Celebrations ETV. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave down below which box you think is better. That's it from me. Thank you, guys, and peace.